when this opportunity came up, I thought, I want to do this movie. Because it wasn't a reboot of something. It was an original story. Then we could kind of deliver something that was completely original on all fronts. My job is to interpret the story and, and to, to help you feel what the characters are feeling. So the only way I can write real music is to sort of connect to the movie and to be invested in some way. And I knew I would be on this film just by virtue of my connection to the character from years ago as a kid. I told Michael that the movie was a bit darker than most Marvel movies. I wanted the score to reflect that and that I wanted a sense of the mystical. Other than that, I wanted him to feel unhandcuffed. I wanted him to feel free to do what he wanted to do. I had the main theme for Doctor Strange written almost immediately before going in for that first meeting. He very quickly turned around with a theme that was amazing. We were all just amazed at how good it was. And I felt immediately like, well, that's it. It was just seemingly effortless for him. Just as a general brass note, 45 through to 53, can you take it all down one dynamic, please? I cannot lead another gifted student to power only to lose him to the darkness. You didn't lose me. I wanted the power to defeat my enemies. You gave me the power to defeat my demons and to live within the natural law. We never lose our demons, Mordo. We only learn to live above them. I think Scott and I have sort of been on the same page from day one about what we wanted with this thing. So I sort of pitched to him what I was thinking and he brought to me what he was thinking and it really all worked together. There may be dark days ahead. Perhaps Kamataj could use a man like Strange. We don't ever really talk about music. We talk about story and character. There are different themes for the different characters. Doctor Strange has a theme. The Dark Magic has a theme. We will now receive the power to destroy the one who betrayed us. There's the training theme. <laughs> There's a semi-romantic theme. This is insane. Yeah. The Sanctum has its own theme. The first time Doctor Strange shows up in the Sanctum is pretty fun. He's starting to see little artifacts and different things that anyone who's a fan of the Doctor Strange comics will recognize this and that. I was able to find different instruments that you normally don't use in films. And for me on this one, it was really going to be centered around an electric sitar and a harpsichord. They were going to be sort of the heart of the score in a way, and everything would be built around that. We have almost 100 people here, everyone in the same room to record at the same time. Some people like to record just, say, the string section and then on another day record the brass and they divide everything up. But for me, I really love the sound of a full orchestra with all of the sound waves bouncing off each other. Take one. I can remark. Take him. Action. How long have you been at Kamataj, Mr. Doctor? Mr. Doctor? It's strange. Maybe. Who am I to judge? The Marvel Universe belongs to the fans. And the lucky thing is, this film is being made by fans. <laughs> and that is so cool. <laughs> We're all in it together. Cut, beautiful. 
When it comes to the tone of Marvel movies, they all stand on their own and they all feel distinct. And that's certainly the case with Doctor Strange. We wanted to make a mind trip action film that was filled with bizarre and wild things that we just haven't seen before. Every set piece is an attempt to give audiences adrenaline-ridden sequences that are not predictable. This is so surreal. I can't believe I get to do this for a living. <laughs> it's just so much fun. There's really no limits. It's parallel universes and time travel and unlocking a whole new part of the brain. And audiences are always ready to take that ride. It's about doglegging into another world. It's about creativity and it's about the mind. Doctor Strange is an attempt to use magic in a way that hasn't been used in a movie before. No matter what anyone ever says about the movie, we're not going to be criticized for our lack of ambition. So Earth has wizards now, huh? Tea. When it comes to our tags, we don't often script them out or necessarily know when the film starts shooting what the tags are going to be. I don't drink tea. Well, what do you drink? Not tea. And late into the shooting of Strange, the Thor Ragnarok script was coming together. And as we were reading it, we said this scene could be hilarious. Wouldn't it be funny to answer the question right away, what's it going to be like when Doctor Strange enters the Marvel Universe? So I keep a watch list of individuals and beings from other realms that may be a threat to this world. Your adopted brother, Loki, is one of those beings. It's a worthy inclusion. Yeah. I'm not sure if they had met before, but they got along great, and I think people are starting to learn this about Chris, and they'll soon hopefully know about it, Benedict Cumberbatch. They are both hilarious. They are both have the best comedic timing. <laughs> Especially for guys known as dramatic actors and as action stars. Some of the funniest people you'll ever meet. And I think they really enjoyed the opportunity to just improv a bit and play with what is kind of a little bit of a lighter tone than the movie that preceded it. So. Why bring him here? Uh, we're looking for my father. As you look forward where we can go from here in Doctor Strange, it'd be interesting to see him serve that role, to see him advise Avengers and all the characters you know here on Earth about the things they don't even know and about the dangers yet to come. So if you found Odin, you'd all return promptly to Asgard? Yes, promptly. I have much work to do elsewhere. Oh, good. Allow me to help. <laughs> Hi there, here's today's daily fact. All the films in the Marvel Cinematic Universe are split into bigger phases in which groups of films are linked to one another and in which characters make cameos in other movies. The first phase began with Iron Man, the second one with Iron Man 3, and the third one began with Captain America's Civil War. It is currently ongoing, although producer Kevin Feige said that this concept will probably change for future films. Remember to click below to subscribe or on the side for more great content.